Okay, so looking towards the end of that seven day, the NCAA Women's Final Four comes to Tampa next weekend. Joining me this morning is Claire, the executive director of the Tampa Bay Local Organizing Committee, and Jenna, Event Development Institute Manager. Basically, we've got basketball and free concert covered here today. We do, <laughs> Thank absolutely. you guys so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. All right, so this is the third time this has come to Tampa. Why is the, what new can we expect this year? Well, I think what's exciting just is our community is so different than the last time we hosted in 2015. So what we're doing is we're putting a lot of their free ancillary events downtown along the Riverwalk so that can serve as the main corridor. That's awesome. And now, so this whole weekend really kicks off on Friday. Correct. What, how does that yes. start? Yes, so Friday, Turney Town at the Tampa Convention Center is really your free, family-friendly fan activation I'm zone. I'm hearing the word free so free, much. Yes, so awesome. many free <laughs> yeah. ancillary events. I mean, there if, if you don't have tickets to the game, there's something for everyone uh, to awesome. do this weekend. So that's Turney Town Friday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. Tons of fan activation, as mentioned. And on Saturday, which is Super Saturday, there's tons of things to do in Turney Town as well. Youth clinics, autograph sessions, a next generation showcase. Beyond the baseline can go on and on. Cool. Ton to do in Turney Town, but then the Saturday will end with a celebration in Curtis Dixon Park. Yes, and Jenna, this is your specialty. So the concert, tell us a little bit about that. So like Claire said, it's going to be a super Saturday. So we will end the day with an event in Curtis Hickson Park that, again, is free to everyone. So uh, not only will we have an amazing um, lineup of food trucks and family activities to do, but we'll end the night with a performance by Gavin DeGraw. Um, and not then, too shabby. Not too <laughs> shabby at all. So we're super excited to have him be a part of the event. And then as soon as he's done, we'll end the event with the fireworks show. Awesome. So much going on. And now let's talk about the basketball game because that's the reason all this is happening. Of course. Um, so when do we find out the, the teams that are going to be here? How can you get tickets? That's yeah, the, the regionals finals um, will wrap up Sunday, Monday. Mm -hmm. Tickets NCAA.com backslash women's final four. We'll there, put that on our website. There are very few tickets left. So Ooh. yes, we are we are um, closing in on a sellout, which would, would be the ultimate Selling goal. Selling out, Emily? That would be amazing. Nice. Yes. That's so awesome. Get your tickets today. Um, and and we also want to mention the bounce. There's one more free family-friendly event on Sunday okay. um, that takes place. Curtis Sixon Park, the first 2,000 kids to register, get a free ball, free t-shirt, and then they will be in a dribbling parade down the river walk to Turney Town. Uh, 2,000 kids, 2, dribbling, kids dribbling down the river walk. <laughs> We're going to need some video of that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you can register for that online, too? Absolutely. Yep. Perfect. Same, NCAA.com backslash women's final four. Cool. So if you want to get your kids involved in the dribble parade of children, definitely do that soon because <laughs> epic that zone like... footage coming oh, coming your way. My goodness. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. And we'll, again, we'll link their website on ours, abcactionnews.com. Should be a great weekend next weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back after a quick break.